got glare on both two people over there. I'm going to bring the meeting to order, if you don't mind. And, <laughs> and the first thing on the agenda was the acceptance of the minutes of last week's meeting. A, an amended version was sent to you. Do I have a motion to accept that so amended? Second. Okay. Any discussion on that? Any corrections? Other corrections? And I want to commend Mary for a very good job. Yes. Thank you, Steve. Yes. I appreciate it. There were a lot of motions last time. Yes, there were. <laughs> and I figured a grid was the best way to present them. Yeah, it was very well <laughs> presented, Mary. Thank you. All in favor of accepting the minutes as amended, raise mm -hmm. your hand. Okay. Um, the I'm first assuming John, John's raising his hand to accept the minutes also. Thank you, John. Yeah. Um, the first thing on the uh, agenda tonight is just a brief little presentation about CASA. Um, Elaine French is here representing the organization, and it has been on the on the ballot before, mm -hmm. but I like I cannot remember any it's of the information. Of, in yeah, and yeah. there are many new members here so I just thought a very brief one um, just so they understand what CASA is all about if you don't mind okay CASA stands for court appointed special advocate for children CASAs are volunteers we work we have a 40-hour training to initially and then we have trainings almost every month to keep us up. What we do is we represent a child when the family gets involved with DCYF. The parents <coughs> get lawyers and the child gets me, <laughs> so to speak. Um, and if we feel that, if a CASA feels that the situation is getting beyond what we can handle, we can tell the judge this child needs a lawyer. Um, so just to give you some stats, recent stats, from the physical year of 2023, which is July 1st, 2022 to June 30th, 2023, um, the state organization serviced 1,549 children. In Littleton, there were 18 cases with 26 children involved. Um, 89 children in total from Grafton County were served and 27 children from Grafton County were refused. The only reason there's a refusal is, refusal is if there is a CASA who can't take the case. The state of New Hampshire court system prefers a CASA because we are volunteers. We see the child once a month, plus parents once a month, plus foster care once a month. Um, and so far in 2024, fiscal year 2024 currently. In the state, we are servicing 1,201 children. In Littleton, there's 15 cases with 20 children involved. Um, <coughs> last year, we saved the state of New Hampshire $305 million because we are volunteering our time. The other option is, if there's not a CASA involved, there is a paid guardian ad litem. And um, they are paid $60 an hour plus travel. And during fiscal year 2023, CASA had to refuse 277 children from 127 cases. This caught the, cost the state of New Hampshire $250,000. A CASA handles one to two cases at a time. I'm a CASA who prefers to do one case at a time. Um, and as I said, we have monthly meetings with the family, with the child, um, in constant contact with the DCYF caseworker as needed. Um, paid CASAs are required only to meet with the child once during the whole case. A CASA case takes approximately two years. We do not know what communication the paid GAL has with the child after the one visit. We assume there must be at least the um, phone call conversations. And we don't know a 
about contacting the parents or the foster parents either. Um, and a paid cost, a paid guardian ad litem can sometimes handles up to uh, 10 cases at a time because this is how they earn their living. Um, and let's see, it, right now in New Hampshire, we have 614 CASAs, and as you can tell just from the stats of Littleton, mm -hmm. we need to have, we would like to have more. Because for example, um, the case that I just finished in September, um, when we had the, uh, the child was adopted by cousins of his birth mother, so it stayed in the family, and it was nice to have the whole family hugging me. Um, some of them I've never seen before in my life, you know, they came from New York and here and there, mm -hmm. but it's, it's a really good feeling. I don't even know if a uh, paid guardian ad litem attends the last court mm -hmm. session. I assume they probably do. So, um, I've been doing this since 2017, and not every case goes all the way through. I've had several cases. The first um, hearing at court was like, nope, you know. There's not enough substance here to actually have a case go forward. So um, that's a good overview. Uh, are there any questions from the committee members on that? So is there just this amount of money is for how many CASA oh, reps it's here? It's just a drop in the bucket, but it's it's a help. And one of the things, one of the other reasons we do this is we're trying to get CASA in front of people. So just raising a small amount of money every other year, people see CASA on the ballot. And that will help with, you know, name recognition. And, and the money is used for what by who? For, it's training, used by right? CASA mm -hmm. and um, the state organization for recruiting and training purposes. So uh, there, there is a Warren article in other communities trying to raise? And I assume so. Okay. And, and it's not it's not every community because we're working out of the I will assume that it's in communities where there's a court you know mm -hmm. that we work out of yeah. Any and what's the amount of money you open seven hundred and fifty dollars it's something like point zero zero two cents on your it's a thousand per thousand yeah, yeah. yeah it's point zero zero one oh it's a thousand I'm sorry yeah, that point Inflation. Okay, a thousand. Sorry, <laughs> I was thinking two years ago. Yeah. Um, how do you calculate what to ask for? What the what you petition for? I have no idea. The state says, okay, would you please? Here's the warrant article. It's all filled out for me. The wording's all there, and the space for all the names and Elaine, would you put the time in doing this? And I say yes. Right. So I've spent about three hours getting the signatures and whatever time I spend here. Okay. As you say, it's probably as much about name recognition as it is about the money. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We've all, we've all heard the ads. Right? Mm -hmm. right. You all publicize on various yeah. radio stations. Mm -hmm. And on yeah. in, in UR, it's on there quite a bit, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. To that end, you get the same name, rec name recognition asking for $5,000 as you do asking for $1,000. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's why a, I'm asking. That's why I'm well, asking. How do you calculate? I, I um, don't. So you don't. So that answers my question. But that would be my feeling. I would it. imagine that the city of Manchester has probably asked for five thousand. <laughs> yeah. Any any other questions? I think it's a very worthy <coughs> cause. Thank you. So. How large is your staff? Um, at the state level, I have no idea. You said 614. Well, locally, I'm talking locally. Which towns do you serve? Okay. Well, I work out. Okay, I work on cases out of the Littleton Court. My last case was down in that finished this past September. The child um, was put in, in foster care in Swiftwater, so I would drive down there once a month, <coughs> and the mother lived here in town and. You just, you run, you go where you need to. I get that basic information uh, from my program direct manager. And uh, CASAs are not forced to take any cases like if 
um, cases sound like I don't want to go there, you don't have to go there mm -hmm. in that particular type of case. Um, and of course, for example, every every week on my CASA email, I see at least five requests from program managers all around the state saying, I've got a child, can anyone pay? And so sometimes people actually say, okay, I live here in Littleton, I will drive to Manchester for this child mm -hmm. once a month. And do whatever phone calls are needed. Anything else, John? No, I'll do Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, I've never done anything like this before, so this is good for me to have an understanding of what questions might be asked. Well, we, we do this because we, as a budget committee, have to vote on uh, anything that raises, any Warren article that raises and appropriates taxation. Mm -hmm. And um, we, for the most part, we have heard many of these. Uh, agencies before but we like to every once in a while we visit and catch up again and, and oh, see and plus we have new members it makes perfect sense yeah, yeah. so um so anyways we thank you thank um you. we will be voting on uh, the petition warrant articles later on today so okay. we're just trying to bring some of the people in so thank you very much Elaine. appreciate it thank and you. thank you for your good work Thank you. I do it because it makes me feel good. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank Enjoy you. the rest of your evening. <laughs> she was. She wishes she was going where I'm going. Ah. <laughs> We're having a special worship service at our church, followed by a nice supper. Mm -hmm. But I'm giving that up to be here, <laughs> serving the people of Littleton. Very good. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so the next item is the um, town warrant articles, and I just lumped everything together. Um, I don't know if Lori wants to explain in any of the new handouts from where we're at, or if there's anything in particular that's new on the handouts that she wants us to focus on. Um, well, I just highlighted in the email what um, changes were mostly in the general fund. Um, we moved the, the $10,000 for the health officer stipend and the $1,000 for the health officer expense was originally in the executive uh, budget and we had moved it to fire wages for uh, that inspector position. Right. But now it's been moved back. So it doesn't touch the bottom line, but it's um, for the reason of the position, I guess. So now it's back in the executive line. Um, and also the benefit lines were adjusted due to that um, regarding executive and fire department, social security, medicare and retirement, so those numbers were adjusted. And then per your request last week had asked the departments to go back and look to reduce and um, had a highway budget reduction of 37,600 that's also reflected in that. So there's a new number for the general fund article um, for you to consider tonight. And the word articles have been updated and attached to the back of the packet as well. Doug, um, what does that represent, the 37600 I can give you the breakdown. Oh, you can. Okay, yeah. thank you. I've got it attached here. From... Oh, yeah. Unless you remember, Doug. I do. <laughs> oh, yeah. I do. <laughs> yeah, that's like, okay. Where did I put it? One of it was the sweeper costs that had gone down. Uh, $10,000. Salt had decided to leave it the same, at, so it was $22,000. I don't know why I can't find. Sorry, I don't know how you do it. I get lost with 10 papers. And <laughs> I know, and I thought I had it right there for reference. That's it. That's okay. We can. Oh. Well, I think it's range for the other one and right. professional services. Right. It's like 1300 from one and 2200 from the drainage. There were like four lines that were involved. All right. Thanks, Gary. I don't have that in front of me. Um, so we have what we have remaining on the Warren articles to vote on. It, um, or the town Warren articles, 36 through 40. 
35 is park and rec. Oh, the open house. house. No, we, we voted, voted on, on that. Yeah, we voted they, on 35, yeah, so it is 36. Yeah, this okay, unless the I have the different number. Number changed. Number changed, okay. Never change. this, okay. this one here is not filled in. Yeah, so go by the ones that are not filled in. Okay, so do I have to go back? And this is 35. You see, you have a new handout for tonight, so I guess I will use that one. With my so article 8, and then starting with article 35. Yes, um, Article 8, if we could come back to that after we get through some of these other things. Um, so 35 is the revolving fund, and Jim, um, yeah. yeah, oh, damn Mary, <laughs> that worked out last, last week. Um, did you want to address us on the revolving fund and, and some of the issues that you would like to research? Um, I think you had mentioned that um, that the Parks and Rec also work with the school district and that it should be amount per hour or how much it costs for the groundskeeping. Um, I just talked to Andy. Andy just came in and he said that he would be more than happy to sit down after the beginning of the year to to discuss what we are trying to do with um, you know with the areas that you had identified do you want to go ahead and no I'm only going to say one thing about parks and rec here I'd like to when we get back to um, eight item eight then I will tie in my breakdown of parks and rec okay. and some other things to All further right drive down so that we actually get what is the per day cost in terms of services of comparing entities Perfect. because I think I think there's a real misinformation amongst this group of who is spending your money. Okay. And so. I I've got the numbers in front of me and so okay. I want to address So that back when, we when we're on Article eight. Yes. Okay. The, the only thing I want to address right now on parks and rec and I had to put them on notice last week. They are expending town taxpayers' daughter, dollars on legal advice. They have no right to be spending your dollars on tax or on legal advice. If they have a legal question, that legal question could come to the Board of Selectmen. They could turn around and direct me to get that question answered. So I have a real fear a little to more than light scenario is being created. They have contracted with a firm in, in Concord. I've already gotten the first bill. And I have notified them per the Mitchell Group. They have no legal authority to spend your money for legal advice against the town. Right. So, just so okay. So that's a preface to what you're going to talk about. Then we'll go back. <laughs> okay. So this is just normal business right yeah, here yeah. on 35. Um, and that's not negative at you, okay? No, I no, I know. Sometimes I know. my voice gets a little... No, that's fine. I totally understood. So but I didn't know if that had anything to do with 35, but it doesn't at this point. So can I, ha um, Dan yes. and Mary, move, move the, the question, question and uh, second it? And uh, is there any discussion on the Parks and Recreation Revolving Fund at this point? Just Go to ahead. clarify, if we say, if we, if we all say no and this fails, then there's no field maintenance, there's no uh, after school program, there's no um, pool, there's uh, all that goes away from mm -hmm. this revolving fund. Is that mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> and I think we have kind of indicated that we would like to address that somehow because um, if it does go away there isn't any monies to keep the grounds up or and everything else so that is the smallest portion of this the I get that. so if that were my biggest challenge we won't have a problem doing the maintenance okay the majority of this is program related okay so the majority is okay. Any other? 
but if the revolving fund goes away, then the town would pick up have to pick up the maintenance, or we'd let the fields go to disrepair. No, I'd find a way to pick that up, and in, in 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 terms of with the DPW budget, because to be very honest, I would probably take those two individuals and move them to DPW because their jobs are more in line with DPW with the other yeah. things that we do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All in favor of um, supporting Warren Article 35 um, for the Parks and Rec Revolving Fund, 581384 Raise your hand, please. All against? Are you? Uh, I guess. I guess. I'm, okay. I'm just not really. I are thought we'd have more saying? discussion about it. Let's just, let's just, uh, I'll, I'll vote for it. Okay, so Unanimous. all in favor? Yeah. Six. So seven, and don't forget yeah, John there. Yeah, he raises <laughs> John. Open issues out there. On so Warren Article more. 36, um, Andy just said that um, basically that they're going to withdraw. They wouldn't mind if this was not supported and brought forward. Um, Speak about the mower? For the 15, mower. 15,000, okay. Yeah, so just a minute, just yeah. a minute. No, no, I, I, I don't need how many people there in favor and how many people there are not in favor of the park and recreation. That it was seven in favor of the of 35, seven in favor, zero against on the seven, revolving fund. Seven in favor to give that money? Yes. 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 Watch your language, Rudy. 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 So, amongst the other parts of the body, they're still doing well. So on the zero turn mower, he would like to implement a maintenance program and um, also training for the personnel in order to um, keep, it going. keep it going. And he would prefer to do it before they got new equipment so the personnel actually know what to do and how to, how to do it. That's, so. that's what we were kind of advocating in our discussions you know, in previous years and this year, and, and that's good to hear. So how do we handle that? Because they haven't formally <coughs> told you that they are going to withdraw this or that they, they wouldn't mind that we didn't support it. So should we go ahead and vote a, um, one way or the other? Okay. All right. So if we vote no and they take it off anyway, it's then the vote becomes yes. meaning. Yes. If we vote it, yes, they take it off, and it still doesn't matter. But we should vote in case it doesn't take, take it off. You should vote regardless of and the they decision. decision. And they decide right. to withdraw. Yeah. All right. Yes. Well, I just want to make sure we're going down yeah, the right path. Since we don't have anything formal, and yes. yeah, no exactly. exchange, Andy, yeah. he's one of three. Yeah. Yes. So right. Unless they had a meeting and yeah. voted to have him yeah. come and speak to you, you right. you're hearing from yeah. one member. Yeah, it could okay. change. So. So um, can I um, a motion to move, move the question? And then, okay, and Mary's yeah. going. To, all in favor, or is there any other discussion on that? Okay, all in favor of supporting Warren Article Thirty Six for the zero turn more for fifteen thousand. Raise your hand. All those against. Raise your hand. Yeah. Any yeah. abstentions? It's, it's all zero seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 37, uh, Parks and Rec, establishing a recreation facility capital reserve fund for $50,000. Um, Anne and Mary, yes. any discussion, please? I've been a major advocate of the capital reserve funds. Um, this one, I'm not so sure about because, as John mentioned last week, that once you, if you set the money aside, that we still spend the money. And then later on, it's, oh, well, that's not going to have any tax impact. So we've already eaten the tax impact. So we do need those buildings rebuilt at some point. But if we start, and we do have to start saving for it. But if we're going to try to limit the increase, I think this one, I'm going to be voting all against this on this one. I'll okay, you that. don't support it. It, it. There's many reasons yeah. why you're... You wouldn't support it this year, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, 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 ag I agree with that. Um, I think um, there's possibly needs for storage, et cetera, but I think uh, a clearer vision or a, a vision that's um, detailed for us to consider needs to be presented 
and also alternatives. Um, you know, if it if it's storage is needed, there's pre-engineered buildings, and and if they need classroom space, um, you know, how have they been operating now uh, in the summer? And we need to look at all of those before we move ahead uh, down this road. So for those reasons, I would uh, vote against this establishment at this time. Any other discussion? John? Mm -hmm. You're, you're, you're on you muted mute. yourself, John. Okay, there you uh, are. I'm unmuted now, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, think I think the other thing to look at, for the, the Park and Rec Recreation Group needs to um, see who their friends are and see who can make donations. And I, and I believe truly that some of these projects are ripe for um, volunteer engagement to get these done. And so until they come up with more definitive details on, in that regard, I, I can't support it. Yeah, I agree. Um, so are we ready to vote? Any other discussion? All in favor of supporting Warren Article 37 for the Capital Reserve Fund of 50000 raise your hands. Okay, one. Okay. All those against, raise your hand. Okay, six. One, six. six. <clears throat> Parks and Rec established swimming pool Capital Reserve Fund for $50,000. Move, uh, move yeah, the question. Move, yeah. Uh, any yeah. discussion <clears throat> on this? That pool, we don't want to be without a pool. Mm -hmm. I think regardless of whatever issues there are, which I truthfully don't have any depth of understanding of, uh, I think we need a pool in Littleton and we know it's going to cost some money to do it when the time comes. So I would support we start with that. Okay. You can drown in that pool, you know. That's right. Or a river. Or we have a river. <laughs> Any other discussion? Any other comments? Okay. So all in favor of supporting uh, Warren Article 38 for the Swimming Pool Capital Reserve Fund of 50000 raise your hand, please. Yeah. All against? Any against? <laughs> I think John was in he favor. Was four, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So it's three. Yeah, three. three. Okay, let's get the abstain. And then against one. How many? Abstain. Abstain. I, I, can't, I, I don't. I don't. You don't know enough. Yeah. 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 I don't feel strongly enough to say yes or no on that one. So three, three, and so, one. Okay, I'm abstaining two. You're abstaining three, yeah. two, so three, two, two, and two. two. Yeah. Okay. For the same reason. Three, two, two. Yeah. Three. Three, two, two. Dog Park Special Revenue Fund authorized to expend four thousand six hundred from one dollar fee for dog park cost if needed. There's Can you explain anything about this? You so if it's a special revenue fund, the only way that you can actually spend that money is if you have an appropriation to do so. So we keep the money keeps going in this fund and it has about forty six hundred dollars. There's no plans to spend it, but even if they had an opportunity to spend it or buy a piece of land or something during the year, without this vote, they wouldn't be able to act on it with, you know, using this money. So we've just been putting it on each year in case something comes up and they need access to the money. The vote is there and they have it, but it's... So this is the money that got set aside from the dog registration yeah. for one dollar? Yeah. Not. Yeah. So they don't have to vote on it, though. I'm sorry? They don't have to vote on it because there's no tax impact. Oh, that's right. right. Thank you. Thank you. That's right. No tax impact. And we won't. Right. Yeah, because it's part of the registration. Right. And there's no appropriation happening. You know? Right. So we're good. Right. All right. So funny. Mm -hmm. Moving on to. Okay. Nobody voted on that. We okay. voted on that. Um, yep. I had 41. some comments for from um, committee members that may want to reconsider do those committee members want to reconsider the vote on that you're good this was Peter's presentation right? yeah mm -hmm. yes go ahead madam chair would you entertain a comment yes yeah. definitely I believe that program does a great service for downtown 
but yet it benefits the businesses, why are they not playing a greater role in working with the chamber outside mm. of the taxpayers to take care of downtown Main Street that's attracting their tourists, their visitors, their shoppers? Mm. So I'm just curious, why shouldn't that be something they're proactive about in benefiting their own businesses and out front of their businesses? And <clears throat> so I, I felt about Shouldn't the Chamber of Commerce be knocking on doors going, would you like a file by the front of the Businesses? Yeah. yeah. Not, the t not the government. Right. <laughs> the Chamber of Commerce should that's, say a program. That's what my feeling was. And, and what I, I, I like the idea. I, I, I support it. And But given the huge increase that, and in new, no fault of their own, but where the price is doubled, I, I, I felt that it should have been scaled back a bit and then if they wanted to maintain the same scope, they should have reached out and developed partnerships with businesses that are, are benefiting. And some of these areas that are off the beaten path are not seen by many Littleton natives to begin with, other than just maybe tourists. So for that reason, um, I uh, did not support it um, as written. So. My reconsideration of this is that if we're asking the town to cut in certain areas, we, I shouldn't be asking to increase a certain area in another area. Yeah, I'm sorry, I guess the light bulb went off finally. But I also um, had sent off an email to Peter after the last meeting um, basically saying that um, there was a lot of good discussion what I got from that discussion was that we would support it this year, but this, um, but going forward, um, he had to start considering different ways of mm -hmm. covering that those costs. So maybe when they come next time, they already show you the donations they have right. and the commitment. Yeah. If there was a shortfall, but this really should be a private business <coughs> and aspect. Mm -hmm. I think it used to be. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. The, 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 town, the, the Chamber of Commerce would go to the businesses, the businesses want to be members of the Chamber, they'd pay their fees, and the fees were, you know, not inconsequential. There was hundreds of dollars to a thousand or something like that. a little sticker, this basket sponsored by Go Little Bit. And, <laughs> and uh, we could take a if, collection and the Budget Committee can do yeah. that. <laughs> we're not doing that. Yeah. I, it, I, no, well, it, I think this we're defaulting to but, immediately go to the government yeah. and ask for money. Yes. So well, the well, other thing, all right, I'm sorry, go ahead. I'd like to change my vote to a no. You ever remember that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he. <clears throat> I yeah. spoke about this, and for the reasons, and I'll say that for the reasons yeah. that Jim spoke of. When, yeah. the, when the fellow came and, and spoke, he said that he had 35 signatures but didn't have one donation yeah. for the increase for the $200. Yeah. So, uh, and, and I feel that he, that, that he should have, it, the, everyone that signed it yeah. should have. Hold it up, and I'm not saying that it doesn't belong. It does do well for Littleton, and it, 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 it makes the downtown look good. I'm not saying that, but what I am saying is, is that you know, as, as you as you mentioned just now, they, they can put the name on the basket, and I think if you went out and beat the bush a little bit, you'd get a lot of money that people would be interested in doing something like that. Probably and not they're going to find somebody to beat the bush. I I understand all that, but but they they they, they do pay to belong to the chamber of commerce. Many people belong to the chamber of commerce, and each one of those, if they want to beautify the the, the town, can go out and do a little work. Yeah. And, and we support the chamber, even though we're not part of their core operation. But we can make a donation. But the reason we do support it is because we know that a healthy downtown helps everybody. I don't disagree with any of that. I'm just this, My understanding this, yeah. is that there's actually very few Main Street uh, businesses that are members of the chamber. That's correct. However, that doesn't mean that they might not be interested in sponsoring a basket. If it goes in front of their yeah. business, that's yeah. right. That's right. So well, they, they is, should be approached. Is, which is what my understanding when Peter was here, that he, coming next year, he will look at it between now and next year. However, I, I did have um, Art ask me uh, whether or not he could reconsider his vote, and mm -hmm. I am looking at all the numbers here, and I all of a sudden said, well, it's not fair for me to ask the yeah. main departments to lower their, their mm -hmm. budgets yeah. if I'm allowing the flowers. So mm -hmm. the I don't mind doing the flat line of, um, for next year because it's flat line. It's, that's it, and then we can start 
um, having them. I don't think that's necessarily going to motivate them, though, because they'll just do the same yeah. thing but put it in fewer spots. So how many here would um, support a, a revote on this? Can I have a revote? A re -vote. Not so you have a motion and a second? Yeah. So a motion and OK. I, I moved motion to moved it and a second? second. OK. okay. Okay, so are we asking to not fund it? We're asking to vote again. Vote again on, okay, just on the amount. On this, do uh, we support I mean, this on or not? The, the 27,000. The to whether you're going to reconsider. <clears throat> okay, right, yeah, reconsider. Yeah. All in favor of reconsidering the vote? Dan, Dan, Dan. Yeah? One comment. Just yeah? Just a quick comment. I, I basically agree with, with you and Jim primarily on this, but I do think, and I made the plea last time that it really does help the town and bring a lot of things in. I would, I would approach the chamber and say, let's wean ourselves off of the flowers over a course of two or three years and step it down over that time so that we really transfer the responsibility, as Jim pointed out, to the ones who benefit most at the same time, recognize it does do something for the town. So that's just a comment. It doesn't affect the vote, but I just wanted to say. Well, right now we're voting on whether to revote. Yeah. The yes. Yeah. All in favor of revoting? Raise your hands. I'm sorry, I didn't see. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you as well, John? Yes. Is your hand up in the air or not? Okay. Six. 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 Any against? Any against? Okay. Six zero one. Okay. The next thing is. You could give me the number and then. Discussion. Try to figure it out now. Okay. Two two points. Yes, please. A one. It came from Peter. Yeah. And Peter doesn't bring anything that he hasn't well analyzed right. himself. I mean, he has great credibility, and mm -hmm. when he speaks, you should be paying attention. <clears throat> Second thing is, even if the chamber is totally screwed up and non-committal and hasn't done anything that they suppose should do, <clears throat> I still want to not have our downtown do somebody else didn't do their job. I think it is still very beneficial to the town of Littleton and if everybody else did everything wrong, we still need the support. So I have two things going on around in my mind. One is that I have asked or stated to Peter that we need to, next year, that they need to um, go out and seek support for that. So. I think that's in his mind already. The other thing is I, I can't, um, I don't want to support an increase in it if I'm asking other people to cut their budget. So that's a difficult situation for me. But I love the flowers. You all know well, I love the flowers. <laughs> uh, maybe maybe Lincoln Water and Light would like to do an in-kind contribution yeah. to the town. That's part of their roll and pay for the clock. We do. We put it, we hang yeah. it up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if they are, um, <laughs> if this was so well thought out, then why do they need a year to figure it yeah. out? No, we told them to yeah. figure it out. Exactly. But what I'm saying is there's better ways to fund this. So if it was well thought out and um, then they would have probably come up with some better ways to fund yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Without us pushing back and saying next year do this. Let's spend twenty-seven thousand dollars for flowers this year. And the other part is, if they're out there looking for donations over the next, over this coming summer, and there's no flowers out there, you don't know what you got till it's gone. And they maybe get more donations that way to come back with a vengeance. I oh, go ahead, Dan. Yeah, and along those same lines. Yeah, I I don't see the motivation or the reasoning behind why it's too late to start fundraising for next year's flowers um, because they, as an organization, they sponsor after hours networking groups. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, they're meeting once a month with members or potential members. It's, it's 
what, why can't you start they go hit from the now ground running? Exactly, and if they can't do it in that time, then they've got bigger problems. I so. think though the, the main concern was being able to pay the garden center in March to start mm -hmm. um, that potting the flowers. Start, yeah. So it's really the March thing. It's more mm -hmm. of a March deadline than a June deadline. Roger. I think, and I just looked for it, last year's ballot to see how the vote came out, because that was on last year's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But not how, for this amount. It was, a, it was right. a different amount, but how heavily did the people support that last year? It was, it was significant. It was like 500 and something to 200. It was significantly supported. Almost two thirds. Yeah, said it was two thirds, two -thirds. and yeah. historically it's always been two thirds. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. So to me, that means that yeah, the people, people show up. like what's going on. Will they like the price increase? I don't know. Um, well, I had I had a request to be able for one of our committee members to reconsider his vote, and that's what we're doing right now. Yeah. So we have this. Um, it still may pass. And it I still may pass. Yeah. And I, have, yeah. A, and I have a question: Can we support it at a lower? Dollar level, or do we have to vote it or not? You know, vote it. It's yes or no. Yeah, it's the no. no. petition. No. He did give an alternative of reducing it yeah. before and he saw that would have been to flatline it from last yeah. year. Do we? Okay, <coughs> help me here. Does anyone want to suggest that, or do we just want to vote on the twenty-seven thousand? I would I suggest a lower amount. To but be honest, I would have done that on the pool and the um, building one well, on the parks and rec for that matter. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, well, you know, maybe we should start saving money for this, but not 50 grand this year. But that's not what's in front yeah, of us. That's what's that's petition. not what, but he, yeah. he did act, actually. But he, as a petition or an article, we can't amend. We can't change the amount on no, that no. at all. Okay, so it's a 27th yeah. yeah. Something okay. could at the delivery of a session. That's right. 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 Yeah. I believe so. All right, we're going to close this yeah. because. Um, that's that's a lot of discussion on 27,000. <laughs> so. Um, all in favor of supporting um, the Article 40 for the downtown beautification of 27,117, raise your hands, please. And I'm going to raise it again. Three. So, three. three. Yeah. And all against? Three. Four. Okay. Four. 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 John, were you for it or he against was it? Was four. 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 Okay. So three and favor. Three in favor and four, four, four against. against. Okay. What was the final tally? Three, four. Three, four, four, four against. Three in favor and four, Three, four. against. Okay. Thank you. All right. Sorry, everyone. Okay. So, Pathways, Casa, Grafton County, Senior Citizens. <coughs> Tri-County, um, Amanusik Boys and Girls Club, do you want to take them one by one or do we lump them? Why don't we lump them? I would be for that. Does anyone have any particular one that they want to pull out yeah, and vote separately? Just the Boys and Girls Club one. We have, here we're saying we just voted, oh, I, I didn't, I'm not marking down the vote, but we just said let's support the parks and rec and most of that money is program that is a after school program so why would we recommend the town spend money at boys and girls club when we have our own program going well that's a good question what I'm i think that was brought up last year yeah, yeah. It was. yeah. one that i've never understood frankly but i don't know i, I really don't know i think what they've said and just recollection that they're different types of programs they're not the same Activities. They serve different children. Well, and they're different activities. Different I mean, activities, that's different. Of, yeah. And they were getting short money for the need. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I guess maybe that's a, another area that probably the last minute um, knowledge, maybe next year we need to delve into it much earlier and have them come back and revisit us. Right? Okay, so. Yeah. I think, Diane, that all of these programs are good, but should all the, should the taxpayers be paying for them? That's my position. But is this that out of the consideration is if those programs didn't exist, the additional societal issues that we'd be facing that the town would have to pay for, mm -hmm. the town will never be as efficient in addressing those needs 
at the price that we're paying here. I understand, but these people can also go out and solicit. Oh, they do? They do. They're they individuals, do. They right? Do. And Steve, and this all, isn't with all due respect, could you tell me where any one of these have saved us a dollar of taxes? That's the good part about it, because you don't know it, because they headed it off before it made it to SEAL's desk. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, you, so we have That's the, we don't know. That's statement, but there's yeah. no evidence. All right. So. Well, I wouldn't say that, Jim. You could get, have to dig it up. I mean, that's that's my 40 years of having seen it in Littleton. Yeah. And there's all kinds of stuff that has gone on that they've, that they've addressed. Our welfare cost is not for children at Boys and Girls Club. Our welfare right. cost is homeless people. And that is the bulk of that. And none of this addresses those people. Right. So but anyway, so I think the mental issues and, and other things. But anyway, so we're going to move it. Unless as someone a has as a, as a group. As a group. Which All one right. are you doing? All we are doing 40, 40 through 49. 41. The new 41. For the, the new, new 40, 41. 41. Yeah, the new 41 to 49. To 49. Because the other ones are 40. Yeah, there's no tax impact. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. And, is, and what about 50? 50. 52. 50 has not been received yet. Oh, oh okay. Because usually That's they, do, they oh. haven't put anything in this year. Okay. Oh. So I don't know. I left so. it in as a... A holding spot. Yeah. Okay. And that is 41, 49. Mm -hmm. And some of these <coughs> I'm less supportive of than others, but I tend to take the attitude that um, put them on the ballot and let the voters decide. Mm -hmm. So, Dan and Mary, yes. any more discussion? All in I, favor? I, Do you have discussion? I have a bit. I'm looking through these and I'm, I'm wondering which ones do I think should, are government related that are, that is saving us something. And again, it is short money overall, but um, if we didn't have the Pathways Pregnancy Center, what would happen? If we didn't have CASA, what would happen? If we didn't have, mm -hmm. you know, so I'm kind of I'm trying to figure out what, if we lost all of these, what would happen? You'd be in the ship. I, I'm Maybe. trying to figure out how. I'm going to take that chance. And <laughs> it's some of the, like I said, the Boys and Girls Club, we have our own program, so that one confuses me. Why we would promote, a, pay for our own Because you want to separate, out, they're separate programs. I know they're separate programs, they're separate but they're serving focuses. the same purpose. No, they're not. They're separate focuses. The Boys and Girls Club focuses more on character building and community building with the children. I do not know what the parking rec does after. I think they're just babysitters, glorified babysitters from everything I've heard. After all. Well, we have. Oh. We, <laughs> we do you? Where do Chief we shut Smith, it off? do you have any comment on this? Am I or wrong can in you that? Can contribute to this conversation? I would confirm a lender's assessment. You're talking apples Thank you. and oranges. Yeah. Okay. The people will shut it off if they don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, I think. I mean, they're, they're petitioned articles and. And we, yeah, just move it and. Let the voter speak. Yeah. And let the voter yeah. speak. Well, and and if you don't want to. But yeah, that's what all of these vote. are. We're just saying our recommendations. So yeah. I'm sitting here trying to say, do I recommend this one? Do, do I you want to go one, one by one? John? Do, I mean, I'd I, like I to don't pull out mental health, mental health, yeah. Tri County Cap, and community health, and Minusa Community Health. So you 44, want to 45, and 48. I'm going to vote differently than I vote on all the others. So okay. that's what I would like. <laughs> okay, 44, 45, 45 and 48. And 48. Okay, can we move Warren Articles 40 through 43, Dan and Mary? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get this written down. Okay, 41 to 43, and just 40. Oh, no, well, just, we're gonna just, do that oh, just right. I'll do that block because right. it's Thank easy for me to keep you. it. Yes. Okay. 40 through 43. Through All in favor of supporting more art articles 40. Oh, wait a minute. We, we already did uh, 40. 41 through 43. Oh, 41 through 43. Yeah. So All in favor right. of supporting those, please raise your hand. So which ones again, please? This is Pathways Pregnancy Center. 
Casa uh, for um, for three thousand two hundred dollars. Casa for one thousand dollars, and Grafton County Senior Citizens Council for thirty-five thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. And those are three. Okay, just the, three for right yeah, now. Just these three. Right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All in favor of supporting those three Warren articles, raise your hand, please. Yes. Okay, seven. Mm -hmm. I may have asked for a difference without a difference. I apologize. Okay, forty. Do you want to um, do, do wanna forty-four do and forty-five 40 40 separately, or together? Yeah, do do them separate. Separate. Okay. okay. Realistically, we only have that, we don't have that many left to do, so okay. let's just pray through. Separate. Them. Forty-four is for the Tri County Communication uh, Community Action for twelve thousand ten dollars. Um, moved. Yes. Dan Mary, yes. Yes. discussion. Any discussion on those? And doesn't 44 provide fuel assistance that would enter, otherwise end up on Steele's desk? Of course. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. I think that's a big the homeless, chunk of what Homeless that's intervention, mm -hmm. disaster relief, transportation. Yeah. 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 They, they, they have right? a big budget. I mean, this is just a little, this is just and a little tens little share of their program. Right. Yeah. Okay, all in favor of supporting War Warren Article 44, Tri-County um, at Tri-Cap um, for that amount. Can you raise your hands? Uh, Tri-Cap? John. 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 John, are you Tri -county for? Tri-County Cap. Tri-County Cap? Yeah. Okay. Six to one. Six one. Six one. Oh. Was there a abstention? Oh, okay. Sorry. What? It was seven. 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 That's what I thought it was. Seven. 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 Forty-five for the Amanusik Community Health Services for fifteen thousand um, dollars. Dan and Mary, yes. discussion. Any discussion? What on is that? it? The um, uh, health Amanusik care. Community Health Services. Yes. The full article. Is, health services. <laughs> the full article is written here. What they actually submitted. We can get details. We we'll get our new. This is What's the question? I'm looking at the new one. Yeah, okay. It's 45. It's 45. What is it, Carmen? And this is health care. Uh, preventative health care. Preventative health care to anyone who has the ability to pay. This will continue to help Eminence the Community Health Services continue to provide high quality care to 18,097 current Littleton patients as well as reach more of those in need. 1,800. I'm yeah. sorry. Thank, Thank you. <laughs> 18,000. <laughs> that would be a lot. Like that would be a lot. Three times the population of the town. But we'll just say that they double our general fund if we've got 18,000 residents. <laughs> okay, all in favor of supporting 45, please raise your hand. God. Uh, just a question. I need to ask. That's okay. That's 1897 fine. is roughly one third of the whole population, and that includes kids as well. Yeah. That, um, well, it's probably somewhat. It's probably semi-deceptive in the sense that it do, that doesn't say those are all subsidized patients, but those are all uh, Littleton patients. I mean, you know, I'm just they saying, have a looking sliding fee scale. Yeah. Sliding fee so, scale. You know, so 1897 Littleton residents are currently patients of theirs. It doesn't say they're all they're all receiving uh, some kind subsidized of aid. health care. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So is this same is this same type of petition warrant going out to Governor Franklin? Yes. Yes. Most likely. Yes. They've reported that in previous years that they do do that. Goes out. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. All in favor again. So raise your hand because. Okay. Anybody? All right. Seven. Unanimous. Okay. Okay, 47. Oh, okay, 46. 46. Yeah. Boys and Girls Club. Dan and Mary yeah. and um, discussion. $11,000 for Warren Article 46, Boys and Girls Club. Notice I, I agree that there's um, that they have a good program, but then the other the next part, the next statement is I'm surprised that they're there's other good programs that are able to survive without this. The Littleton, the Littleton Youth Sports, um, 
Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, VFW, um, Lions, Elks. And at what point does, if we, they're able to make it, but then this group is asking for government money. And they are part of a bigger uh, organization. Organization now, I guess it's like half the state of the Boys and Girls Clubs have all joined together into one organization. I don't know if that increases their costs or decreases their costs. And In my experience, it's, it's, yeah. it's supposed to decrease it, but yeah. it doesn't always. I, I think yeah. that that was a factor, Mary, of uh, administrative needs uh -huh. that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they, like every other organization, is required to dot the I's and cross the T's or whatever, mm -hmm. and I think that they're getting under an umbrella so that they don't get in trouble or are not aware of some new parameter that governs their operation. I mean, it's happened in virtually every sure. entity, yeah. including youth hockey, youth basketball, youth soccer, yeah. little league. I mean, it, I, th I think that's like that's the reason why. Okay. All right. I'm going to move the question. Um, so all in favor of supporting Warrant Article 46, Boys and Girls Club, for $11,000, raise your hand. I'll raise it. Five, six, Boys and Girls Club. I, I was going to side with John on this. Okay. Okay, that's no, fine. that's fine. We're just, we're we just don't. just making sure you're just, voting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So those opposed? Any opposed? Okay. Okay. Two. Two. All right. All right. Uh, 47, North Co uh, County Home Health and Hospice 40, um, for 21,500. Dan and Mary, mm -hmm. discussion? It's a great program. We've supported it for years. Um, and truthfully, if anybody who's experienced it at end of life, uh, it's incredibly benefit. Any other discussion? Okay, let's vote. Um, all in favor of supporting 47 North C uh, Country Home Health and Hospice? For twenty-one thousand five hundred, please raise your hand. Okay. Seven zero. Okay. Forty-eight uh, White Mountain Mental Health for nine thousand six hundred and ninety-six dollars. Uh, Dan and Mary, discussion. Any discussion on that? There's a mental health crisis. I'm not sure if this can make a difference, but. I Maybe. One of the ba major things is this lack of funding in the, for mental health, so, yeah. yes. <laughs> okay, all in favor of supporting 48 for White Mountain Mental Health, raise your hand, please. Second Chance Animal Rescue for $5,000, um, Warren Article 49, Dan and Mary, discussion. I don't think this is a governmental um, responsibility. I don't think the town should pay for this one. It came to us many years ago. Um, everybody loves pets. Um, you know, it's, um, you know, euthanasia is not a term that's near and dear to most people, people's hearts, be it animals or humans. Uh, we voted for it, we supported it, and they were again the uh, amount of money we're going to pay and the community appreciation we're going to receive money well spent. I've gotten a lot of good dogs from rescue places, so. Um, oh, this was, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Um, you're right, this is the, the dog mm -hmm. one I was thinking. I, I get confused with the, the cat place. Uh, Nothing against cats. No, no. <coughs> Wait, the one down second on chance, the way Lisbon. Second Chance does both, don't they? I mean, it does they have say facilities for cats. cats. Yeah. They, they have facilities for cats. Yeah, and they, kittens, they have, they have, but they have, they have clinics. Foster, clinics but they have, yeah. Yes, and they have, I believe they have foster oh, care for they? dogs. Oh, okay. Both I'm dogs and that. cats as well yeah. as shot clinics in the right. spring and fall. Okay, yeah. all in favor of supporting this, please raise your hand. Cordette. Four, Anybody five, else? Five, okay. Five. Any opposed? I'm abstaining on this one. Any abstain abstain. abstentions? Okay, so that's 
zero two. Five zero two. Five zero two. Okay, we're done with this. Now, one article eight. Jim, you're on. I just want to um, just kind of let you know that last week we were just asking for a review of the operating budget because of you know, just the total tax impact. And um, because of the policy, uh, we weren't left with much choice to either, we couldn't just ask to pass to this week and vote on it. So we, we had to vote because of the policy and that was the way that we handled it. But we, we basically wanted you to go back in and see if there was anything that you could possibly find. Right. So. I, I appreciate that. Again, this is not an adversarial, but first, what did surprise me, I thought of the three budgets we worked on, this was the first one that it was true collaboration. So this final number wasn't handed to me. This was a number that we worked. We together. discussed with like, oh, well, adjust every, that percentage you got this. And every that. single line item in that budget, I mean, 90, 100 pages. You heard every director walk you through, tell you what the increases were. So if there is a dollar, it didn't come out of the two months that we've all worked together. We did changes weekly based on your suggestion. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit shocked that this was a budget you helped us build, and then five of you voted what we worked on. So may I? I Are I mean, you done? But, but, but I'd like to break some numbers down, just to give some perspective, because I, 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 I want people mm -hmm. to understand what, what we're getting per dollar. But okay? may I insert something? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, it's your meeting, please. <laughs> Well, I think it's very hard for me um, over the years that we go through it and we realize that almost everything that everyone is asking for is sound or that it's a good, it's been well thought out. But then when we get to the bottom line and we put everything together and we're not really quite sure where the Board of Selectmen stand in all of this. and. Um, so when we get to that bottom line, then we go, that's just too much. And and so in, in, the in big general, picture. in the big picture, just a minute, okay. in Sorry. the big picture, Sorry. it's too much. And we totally um, understand why it's two dollars and one cents of artificially lowering the tax rate, and we can't keep. Um, filling that in with the fund balance and with everything else. And so that's why we had suggested raising the tax rate by $1. So that gives you $727,000 to also spend this year. And then it suggested that there was, um, because of this year, you're under budget, and that might bring forward $620,000. So the 727 and the 620, that gets us to a, a certain level. I think it's almost 200,000 that we um, we don't reach the point of. There's 200,000 more that you're asking than those two numbers provide. And that is a significant increase, but we are trying to right the ship um, of having such a low tax rate and, and putting money towards that because Eventually, you cannot keep buying the tax rate down. Out of the $2.7 million that we had uh, um, in the fund balance, we have, we have used, uh, let me see, we have used, um, what is it? Uh, I had it all right here, 798000 to buy it down, and you're offering, or you're suggesting 707 for um, buying certain items so there's no impact which, which was reduced to 376 so now you have a million six well we don't reserves. we haven't seen that but that oh, that's, that's what, what we what were looking voted, at that's what you voted on i know that's what we were looking at okay. last week so 
if we do not spend, and we did reduce it down, that at least gives us a $1.5 million fund balance, which I had heard all of the selectmen and the town manager say that they didn't want to go below that. And here we are with the recommendation that we were facing last week, we are going down to $1.2 million. Which is 5%. But you're you're not going down. You're going down okay, to so now it's your you're turn. going down to a million <laughs> six. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, it, um, when Please. we were looking at this look, right here, look, look. it wasn't. It wasn't. No, this no, is the page. It was, it was a million three. It was still above the five percent. But if you if you will let me, okay. Yep. Go ahead. All right. So the new paper. Mm -hmm. Let's go back. Can you go and look the at the town paper. a little. Bit. Number eight. Okay. It was lowered today to 4057. I did it off the 4178 number. Okay? That's the base general fund millage that we need. Police, fire, public works, everything else. We add 79.797 cents for your parking, your paving, and your sidewalks. We add transfer station at 39 cents. $5.00 and 37 cents is all that is needed to provide the daily services to the town of Littleton. Not seven or 6.68. That difference has nothing to do with the day-to-day -day operation. And if you let me follow that through. We service, and I'm going to use an estimate number, and we can disagree on that, but we have a base population of 6,000, and we're told on any given day we have maybe a total of 15,000 in town. So I'm going to use the 15,000 number, all right? I divide our budget by 15,000. It comes to $735 per person per year. We are the only entity that is open 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And we are servicing 6,000 residents and potentially six to seven to 8,000 visitors. When you break down the 735 by 365 days a year, we are providing police, fire, EMS, DPW, and all the other services for $1.92 a day, providing complete services to take care of the town. Just to give a comparison, we now let's take a look at the Parks and Rec. $686,569. The tax rate is 9.945. Parks and Rec told you that they service 130 students. I divide 686,000 by 569 divided by 130 students. We are spending $5,281 on daycare. And that's not 365 days a year. That's before school, that's after school, that's summer care, that's holidays. I'm not saying we don't provide daycare to our students, that's important, but you're, you're looking at that, 130 students, maybe 300 families, and so 520, 5,281 dollars of your tax dollars are going to cover one student and our pro parks program for daycare. It's a simple number, Steve. That's, they tell you it's 138 in the program. We divide by the number. And, you're, and what's the dollar figure you're assigned? 5,281 per student for the year. Extrapolates to? 6,868,569 dollars. Okay, don't you have a swimming pool in there that operates? <laughs> for 25 people? What? A swimming pool? Swimming swimming pool averages 25 participants a week, Steve. 
25 kids totally in that pool? Yeah. Five kids a day for a week? 20, 25 people on average are at the pool. Oh, on average, but it might be 25 are there from 9 to 10, another 25 from 10 to 11. 25 no. particular, okay? But you're, you're, you're not following the fact that we're still spending over $5,000 per student to be in our daycare program. Now, are, you're assigning all the all the cost of the of the entire program to daycare. Well, let's subtract out ten thousand for maintenance. So yes, it is. It is the majority of that program is daycare. That's that's their program. We only have two organizations outside of the town that rent the field: youth soccer and Littleton flag football. Yeah. They pay these. The, we spend. This is also including the school. The school doesn't contribute one penny, but yet we spend to maintain the fields for the school, yeah. dedicate them for the school. Now, I'm not saying don't do that, because if we didn't, then the school would pay. So the, the tax would go somewhere. I'm just trying to get you to understand that you focus on the general fund, but nobody looks at the fact, is that a reasonable number to be spending? Yeah, Subsidizing you, daycare in the town of Littleton? Jim, I, I think... Yes. Attributing all that money is going to daycare. It is, I mean, what about big league basketball? What about the, the those sport? are so small, Steve, and the number of participation that, that that is minor. The bulk of the money is spent on before school, after school, summer school, and holiday care. Yeah. That is the bulk of your money. I, I'm not arguing with you. I just want to understand the facts. And let me throw another one in. Yeah. Okay, the school, the school. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> That's a bad one. The school has a budget of eighteen million four hundred and fifty nine dollars. Three hundred students. Sixty one thousand. No, no, hang on, please, please don't interrupt me, Steve. Please, Steve, please give me the floor. Okay. Three hundred students are serviced by eighteen thousand eighteen million four hundred and fifty nine dollars. $61,531 we spend per student. That's $6,153 a day per student, and they're only in school 180 days a year. Can I? We service 365 days a year, not only those students, 6,000 other people in town, 6,000 other people coming in here, and we do it for $1.92 a day? Steve, uh, may I? So you said 300 students? Yes. For 18 million? Yes. We have 600 students. No, that's not the number I was told by the superintendent in the school. We have 600 students in the school system for the 18 well, million. Then that means we're spending 31,000 yeah, per student. I know. I just wanted to correct okay. you on that one. And, okay. and we're going to be spending 60, 36 million for a school shrinking? I hear we have three sixth grade teachers and only enough students for two classes. Is anybody looking at the school and the number of administrators, the number of teachers, and the number of people that are promoting and are sitting on your payroll that you're paying for, that you're not asking the same questions you're asking of us? I'm providing services. These guys are. $1.92 a day, 24-7, 365 days a year. That's police. That's fire. That's EMS. That's keeping your streets paved and cleaned. And you want me to find the dollar to offset because you don't want to deal with the subsidizing the daycare. You don't want to cover the 20 cents for the nonprofits that don't have a darn thing to do with me running the government. That's what's frustrating. How I find that dollar? I'm going to have to ask three, each three of them. How many officers are we going to lay off? How many firefighters am I going to lay off in public works? That's how I can do that. I, you can't argue with the fact that we're providing we're a dollar ninety two a day every service you can think of. These other two entities. I wish to God we were spending five thousand dollar a day on the citizens of Littleton. Can I back up for a second? So um, we never know what has transpired after we leave this meeting, right? So we make recommendations and we, we don't know if anyone heard us you know we really I did. No, wait a minute. Wait, these numbers. wait a minute 
<laughs> but looking at this right here, um, so we had 1,981,000. I'm looking on the back side of the spreadsheet on the, on the uh, warrants that we just voted on. And it says capital items from fund balance been reduced down to 376. We didn't know if any of our, the votes, if that would remove those items that we had it voted against. So mm -hmm. obviously we need to be updated that they had. Those, are, re those are removed until the Board of Selectmen say yes or no, but that's why your reserves, based on your votes, have gone back to 1.604. I reported to you all that we are 6.5% under mm -hmm. with one month to go, so we'll probably be returning easily a half million dollars to that, taking you into the two million two three. Well are these I, other entities doing I, that same thing and being held, Diane, I'm not arguing, but being held at the same level of accountability that you want to balance these other entities for being unaccountable on the backs of this public safety. We have three areas here on the budget. So help me understand. Okay, I'm just putting it out here. I'm not arguing with you. you know I'm that. passionate. I'm not arguing with okay. anything. <laughs> so my passion is um, I'm look, trying to look at this, and I've always said that this budget committee just try, tries to move the town ahead without you, breaking the You give me $5.367, I can provide every service we are providing today. Except you're leaving out parks and rec and all of that. But yes, jo uh, John, you, but, go ahead. Can, do you want to pay for daycare? That, but, but don't hold me accountable for that. John, I can we? When you compare school to town operations, you're right about holding people accountable. I would never argue that. Yet the service that a town provides is not equal and comparable to what is provided for the educational pursuits of our kids. That's it. If you look at any town across the North Country, into the Northeast Kingdom of Vermont, the school always spends more than the town. And there's a reason for that. It's the nature of it. It's different. And so it's not a fair comparison to do what you're doing. It, it is, John, when you can count the people you serve. You can divide the budget by the number you serve. That is a fair one. And your school population is shrinking because you went independent, and so now you have nobody else to help you with a school system that's shrinking at more and more of the cost. Yes, it is. I met with your superintendent, and she told me they're down 54 students. Well, they are, but that has nothing to do with whatever you made for comment about independent. What is that, John? Uh, he, he's thinking like fire and around. stuff being regional and working out and people working together to spread the cost and the burden. Diane headed the committee for regional education, and it failed. It failed. Okay, not because of lack of effort. I didn't say anything about that. I'm just saying that you have a system that is failing because it's serving less and less people, but the cost isn't going away. Yeah. We all recognize that, Jim, and we have. And you want me to balance the vote Jim, Jim, on the we, backs of these we, guys? No, no. no and we have not. challenged the school system. We've challenged it for a long, long time, as we've been shrinking for a long, long time. And there's a, there's a ton of issues with that, and I'm equally frustrated, Jim, that that think that they haven't been able to pare stuff down, but, but they have not, and whether or not that is for lack of effort, lack of knowledge, or lack of availability or possibility, I can't tell you for sure. But, but the answer to education, yes, we should definitely have a regional school system. There's no doubt about that. In fact, our system is so small, Jim, that I There's thought you were part of one once in the town. No, that's the no. SAU. So when I'm going to tell you something, entity. Jim, Jim, I was on the board when we did the SAU, okay? I wasn't in charge of the committee. But at the time that we were with SAU, there were five, let's see, there was Lisbon, Littleton, um, profile, profile, Franconia. profile, yeah, and uh, Franconia. Franconia, Easton, Sugar Hill, 
That's yeah. been laid yeah. down. So we had all of those communities right. and all of those school systems. We had one superintendent that was basically running four, uh, four schools, four separate teacher contracts, four separate support staff contracts, an SAU contract over probably near at that time 2,000 students. Um, and, you know, so we weren't getting the leadership that we needed. So that was the reason why it broke away because one person could not do all of that. There was just, it was just mm -hmm. too much. Yes, that was, I think that was a good move. Has it been a smooth transition? Are they doing it exactly the way we want to do it? Um, could they trim it down? Yes, they could trim it down. But I don't think under those circumstances um, that we were getting what we were paying for. There were many situations where we were funding other communities through grants, they got a grant with us because they said, oh, collectively we will get more money. Well, guess what? When the grant, uh, when we separated, they collected all of the tools, all of the everything that they got under the uh, umbrella mm -hmm. of the grant and took it with them. There was not a fairness there. So, yes, I agree with you that it could be done better. But, uh, no, uh, you I brought know, it the up. The is separate, but I, but I want to understand when you break it down to that level. I mean, and then you ask us, John. out of this 4.05 to cut a dollar, the impact I'm not asking on that cut small a amount, because you know what I can do? I can say, let's take the 35 out that you voted against for the community center and make it its own standalone work. I think I'm it's asking. It's in the general fund. Jim, I you guys voted against the budget that that thirty-five thousand dollars is in. Jim, I think basically I'm asking, um, figure this out for me. I'm not great, great in math. I, I didn't go to this school, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm asking to raise the tax rate by one dollar. Figure that out for me. That's seven hundred twenty-seven thousand dollars of spending, right? Is that correct? Seven hundred twenty-seven thousand. Is dollar. per dollar. Yes. That's yes. a dollar, yes. right? I'm also saying six hundred and twenty thousand dollars that we possibly will have at the end of the um, this fiscal year to go towards it. So so add that together, and then see how far off we are between the operating budget and the Warren articles that are there. How much? What is the difference there? Jim. First of all, the, the difference between last year's budget and this year's budget is about $200,000 and about 6%. <clears throat> when you consider inflation, just insurance costs and whatever, what I'm getting at, Diane, so you're talking about costs that we don't necessarily control. So the only thing I control can you is figure that out, laying please? off personnel. Can you figure that out, please? And then we can start our discussion. We, we did. We went no. through every line item. We yeah. showed you what the insurance costs were, Diane. And I'm not arguing. You had those numbers. We gave it to you both in the department and total. Jim, John, Jim, we, we gave it to you. Jim, just a comment for a minute. What, what we did through the fall was uh, it's akin to looking at trees in the forest. But you don't know what the total force looks like until you get it all together and get the bird's eye view of it. And that's what happens when it comes to rolled up to an end. And it, to me, it suggests we need a different process. Mm. We need a process where we target a tax rate that we're going to try to manage to, and then develop the budgets in the fall. But, but you want to pick a rate and back into it instead of actually comparing of what you're getting for the services. Well, I think part of managing assets is to find the best use of those under the restriction of financial capability. John, do you think a dollar ninety-two is is an unreasonable cost providing twenty-four-seven police, fire, EMS, highway, and okay. safety to a town? I'm sure, I'm sure. I I would say I think the police coverage we supported most every warrant there. By the way, so I pick a different argument. No, because it's in the general fund. Right. So you voted against it, John. I, I would I like you all to reconsider. Apples, or you're still comparing apples to oranges. No. I don't spend much time in the town of Littleton. 
my touch with police or fire or road crew or even uh, rubbish is very little compared to a kid in the classroom five days a week, eight hours a day. It's very 180 little. days a year when yeah. we're 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. I think we need to get back to the reverse. I, I disagree with your dividing a little bit there because you're only counting, let, for example, the students. You're counting the, stu the school is serving the students. The school is serving the families as well. So there's the parents, the other siblings, and all these other things by that. Now and, so, not, and so are we by the 5,000. Exactly. But you, when you were, you were dividing ev by everybody well, because on the, the town side. Because the student is the customer. Mm -hmm. They're the actual person in the classroom. Yes. They're the person in the classroom. So that whole school is designed for the person in the classroom. That's who they're teaching. So you're saying from an accountability standpoint, you have to measure what they're serving that one per, that person or the people within those walls versus the, a, an equal argument would be you can only divide by our citizens then and not necessarily the 8,000 people that are coming through. Even though those people are using the roads and those people are using, you know, being, if they they're have no problem, police, they're using they're police using, and they're fire. They're using and ambulance. Yes. They're, yeah, they use all of our services. They I'm don't saying, use the schools. They don't. <laughs> that's correct. They don't use the schools. And I was wondering when someone is going to do that exact division that you did that says per student it costs us twenty to thirty thousand dollars a year to to have our students. That's a crazy number. That being said, I, is what you're taking issue with because I'm looking at what we what was presented last week versus this week and it's different we you've cut 12 cents off the tax rate on your budget so kudos that's that's why we push back and go hey can we how, how can but, we manage but, this but you, can guys, I, but you guys were with us every day we did this it's not like we handed you a book and said vote on this you 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 no, helped we through it you you us 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 art, art has process. the floor now art has the floor now I have a question for you, Jim. I'm going to agree with you that dollar ninety-two is absolutely a fantastic price to give to the people. I, I don't argue with that, not even for a second. The issue is, is that as I see it, and we, uh, we've talked about, if all of the, the two dollars pass for the for the town, the two dollars of change pass for the school, that's twelve hundred dollars additional taxes for the average taxpayer of Littleton. Plus, they're putting a thirty-six million dollar bond. For the school it's going to add another nine hundred dollars so that's twenty one hundred dollars yes sir just like that yeah. next mm -hmm. year twenty one hundred for the average payer so is that reasonable to ask for a taxpayer well no it isn't okay that's but, all but uh, what's unreasonable is we ask for it to come out of the 457. i listen i i agree that the dollar 92 yeah. i agree with you 100 percent that we get more for our bang through the town department, through the high, through through your department, and in the school, in my personal opinion, is out of control. But yeah. while we, but and we do mention that when we get there, we tell them we need to drop. You need to drop your budget. Right? Does the you, school you board force it? Well, my board is what they do. My board is what they do. But but no no more than we can only advise, right? right. So so we ask for a dollar, and if you can, that's great. If no if no one even cares if we even ask, right? I mean, we asked because it, it gave us Ajana. I didn't mind asking, but right. but, but you guys knew in going through it. Absolutely. Right? Now, if the dollar was there that easy, you would have found it. Right? I, 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 like I, I, I agree with you. I mean, if you, you want agree. us to start, start slashing at your budget in an ignorant way, do you really need those computers this year? Couldn't you put that computer system off a year? What about and that's what we have. Computers with Windows Sevens and times <laughs> that Mary weren't working. Do you want me to remove your thirty-five thousand dollars and put it as a Warren article? Jim, no, no. That is if she's taking my computers out, I can talk about her thirty-five thousand dollars. What I asked was, do you want us to start slashing at your budget in an ignorant way? That was all I said. Yeah. Well, going through line by line item, it should have been ignorant. You should have been able to pick line item and say, I disagree with that. Yeah. Can I ask Can I, Laurie? Can or I just, yes, sorry, please. Just, one, it, just for a little historical perspective, it, there have been years, Jim, where we actually tried to address budgets and our lines as we went. And the pushback on that was, you guys should wait till we see the whole picture and then give a recommendation. 
So that, that's been an argument that's gone on mm -hmm. for as long as I can remember. Pros and cons to both. Uh, I, it was the Brian Ward school was to address them line by line as they appeared. The Ron Bolt school was wait till the end. So, you know, whatever it is, creates some, some hot burn. Uh, as far as the school, don't believe for a second that we haven't challenged the school. We've challenged the school for as long as I can remember. They are difficult to challenge. Uh, they have never, truthfully, i got to give kudos to the town. The town has been very, very cooperative over the years, sharing information and, and detail and whatever else. The school... I'm told I'm too transparent. No, no, no. No, I've been accused of that. Well, by that, that won't be coming for me. But, <laughs> but, but in, the, in the school, and truthfully, for all of us who have business backgrounds, most of which that's why we're here, the mm -hmm. town is much easier to identify. Okay, the school is, is a is a different type of operation. Uh, the, the same type of analysis uh, doesn't seem to apply. But kind of the, the end of the deal here was what, what I heard from Diane from the budget committee at the end of the last session was we weren't mandating a figure. We but, can't. But the general... No, but you voted against but the general fund oh, budget, which well, is a negative. Well, I did. But the, the general feeling was that <laughs> we abandoned all that figure <laughs> and it was, was too much. And basically, I thought we were asking you to take a look at that. There's things in there that could be adjusted or delayed that don't involve personnel positions. Can you tell me them, Steve? Because you went to the book, went through the book with us for two months. That's right. Okay. Well, that your, yeah, your, your fire truck, your fire truck pickup truck. No offense. Okay. I'm Can not I sure ask? that that's a necessary item for I'm, this year. I'm done. I'm yes, done. you no, are. I'm, I'm done. You me, are. Me. Yeah. You are done because no. we have to move on. Yeah. Um, we've had enough discussion on that. But can I go back and ask you a question about eight now on how it's um, formatted on this? So, Lori. Um, and Jam, so the budget, um, the two, $2 million um, so you adjusted that operating budget down to a dollar. It's, I mean, I, I don't know what adjustments. You, the only adjustments that you've made to the operating budget is what you listed on that one page, right? Yeah, on the email. Okay. And that's it. All so right. So the general fund operating budget went down like eight cents. Okay. The other adjustment that I mentioned last week and, and checked with Jim about was to adjust the overlay amount for this year. So we dropped that 150,000, and that's where the biggest drop. That was about 21 cents right there. Mm -hmm. So that helped bring it down a lot. But that will skyrocket in 2025 when you go through rebound. Right. Yeah. Okay, so help me here with my math, okay? Please. <coughs> That's all I'm trying to do is just get through this so we can move the town forward without killing the taxpayer. So now um, what I had suggested was come up a dollar, right, on the so tax I put rate. it in pink there, what you said. What's that? I put it in the pink on the back, what you said. At the December 14th meeting, reduce the five million six twenty two six thirteen by seven hundred sixty five thousand dollars is what it boils down to to get to four million eight fifty seven six thirteen which would be your six dollars and or yeah six dollars and sixty eight cents. However, so I had also said that I uh, the six the one dollar so that would be seven hundred and twenty seven thousand dollars. And plus the 620 that you perhaps will have at the end of this well, you, fund balance. You're just coming from that and adding up, and I'm coming from where we're at and trying to cut back to get down to where you want us to be. Yeah, so I mean, just I'm just thinking of the two numbers to two numbers together that because in next October you would be able to reduce the that amount by the 620. So just. Add it to the cost this year because you can reduce it down next October by that amount. So it wasn't re as restrictive as maybe it is in here right now. Um, so the 727 is the one dollar on the tax rate. I was expecting an additional six hundred and twenty thousand dollars to be st remain in here, and I think that leaves just a balance of like two hundred thousand that. Where can we cut? What can we do? Let's look at some of our Warren articles. It, I wasn't trying to be as restrictive to everything and say bring everything down to a dollar. John? 
that was what I meant. You can finish your thought. And then no, that, I mean, uh, to me it was 727 plus the 620. That's what you could add to all of this because next October you'll use that 620 to buy down the tax rate. Right? Possibly. Right? Possibly. Possibly. But that was my thought. So I don't know if that's what happened here or it didn't happen here. So what, what I heard from last week's meeting was that you only wanted it to go up a dollar. That was, I, I don't no, know. I, no, I said a dollar right, raise six, the tax rate. Six, six, and so, yes, that was what plus, was, that, was it not? Plus, <laughs> plus put the $620,000 in there because you're expecting to have that amount. You might not. You might, might have just put $550,000 in. What, the, what we buy down the tax rate with every October seems to be about that much. So I was expecting the dollar plus that amount to be left in the proposed budget and warrant articles and then see where that brings you and what warrant articles you had to adjust or if, if you could adjust. That's where I wanted everyone to look. Not to just bring it down totally, the operating budget and the warrant articles. I wasn't expect that to be compressed down into one dollar. I was expecting well, that's what it. I heard. No, I, I thought I... Yeah. Could I, I think, ask you on 21? Yeah, that, Could that I was, ask on 21, Article 21? You, you voted no on that and you said it should have been the general fund, but then you voted down the general fund. So. Where would the fire department fund hose and equipment replacement if you turn down the general fund and said it should have been there? Can we go back? And you won't let it be a warrant. Well, let's go back to what I was asking. So, how much of a difference does that leave you now? We're down to four oh five seven. Is that just for a dollar okay. increase? I'm trying to figure out what, that, what went into that this. That gets you to six six eight eight four. But that's not what I, we asked. I, but, no, she but, re, the, the six, this, 668 is what she reduced it okay. to. In order to, for me to cut $765,000, no. I'm going to have to ask each one of them no. how many I'm people not that lays off. I'm not asking you to cut that. That's what it is. No, but that's not what we asked last week. That's what That's not what we stated last week. I'm trying to clarify that. That's the dollar. Listen. Right? It's a dollar, which is the seven hundred and twenty-seven thousand. Plus, I expected you to also include in there the six hundred and twenty thousand dollars that you you keep so telling us that you're under down. under budget this year and that it's a potential of six hundred and twenty. That's going into one article that a board will make a decision a year from. This is totally right. So. So I can't make that decision today and tell you how much of that they're going to buy down. I can only tell you. I'm what assuming it costs that them. they are going to buy it down because no. okay. every year it's usually five hundred, five hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, so so I'm using that you. as can potential to give you more money to spend above the the one dollar tax rate. So I didn't expect the operating budget <clears throat> and all the warrant articles to come in at just a dollar. I was expecting both of those to come in at a dollar plus. And as I said earlier, you, you give me five dollars and thirty-seven cents, I can run this down and you won't see a change. So what happens between the five and the six eighty four, a buck fifty nine, you can reduce that. And then tell Parks and Rec how they how they justify what they're what they're gonna do. Can I just say because they're about going to be suing you anyway. They're already spending your tax dollars. <laughs> so, so can I ahead, say Gloria. one thing about my spreadsheet? Okay, the one I printed and gave to you all was me playing with the numbers because the one that you have apparently has four hundred and ten thousand six hundred and fifteen plugged into where the board selectmen will vote the fund balance to reduce the tax rate, and so yours says six eighty eight, right? Eight eight four. So that 410, I was just plugging that in to see because that's what's extra now that we've reduced the capital. So if we use that and voted it, I'm trying to get down to your 668 is what I'm trying to do. But I meant to delete that. That shouldn't have been there. So it would say. Can you explain it better than me? It would say 7.45. But, but 
ask a question in a different way, okay? What, based on the budget that you have now presented to us, without affecting salaries or positions, what could you find in that budget that could help mitigate the tax increase? Zero. Zero. I presented right. you a budget, not with fluff, but what we needed. Okay. And right. we made those changes, okay. Steve, okay. as a group. Okay. Right. Well, right. you say as a group, Jim. Okay, but just Steve, were you not part of this group? I, yes, I was, but I wasn't challenging every line as we went. That's your role. Well, no, well, no it isn't my role, Jim. You, because you have the ability. You have yes, the same numbers as everybody else, well, I just Steve. Told you, the, the story, you can't have it both ways, Steve. Jim, I just told you the story over the years about how that process has evolved and how we've tried it one way and how we've tried it another. But as a simple question, and Chad, I want to just pick you because you're... Great, thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's like the $85,000 pickup truck, is that something you could live without for a year? It, it, it's gone and it didn't affect the tax rate because we were paying for it out of reserve, so it wasn't a tax rate. Okay, but you could then use redirect those yeah. funds. No, to no. something else. No. 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 I, Why not? Okay, so, okay, again, okay. let me go back to what my dream budget would be, okay? <laughs> My dream budget would be seven to whatever the the bottom line was last year to add to add one million three hundred and twenty seven. So what I did was take five sixty eight and, and multiply it times seven hundred and twenty seven thousand and that gave me a base. Is am I doing that wrong? Am I doing that wrong? I don't really follow. I'm yeah, sorry. I don't. Because okay. we, we start okay. from a number and we try Does to Does anyone else down. follow right. what I'm trying to say? Is that. But, the, but the, let, me, let me break this way, way down. The default budget that we had last year was $10,174,755. The budget that we're proposing this year, which includes the general fund, okay, is $10,417,000. It's a two hundred. It's what? And four seventeen is the budget requested. Right. And ten months. Which paper are you looking at? Is the default like budget dated down at the bottom? The very bottom, right down here. Yeah. The very bottom. Yes. However, you used seven hundred ninety-eight thousand dollars to buy down the tax rate, and so didn't you? Didn't you use $798,000 in my three budgets? This number that you see at the end has never been the number that ends up being the tax rate when we get right. there and doing that budget because by the time we get to next year, we know what our reserves were, right. we know what our excess revenue right. grew, that even increased that. So since I've been here, never once has this number been the final tax number. Okay, right. so so I'm saying you use seven hundred and ninety eight thousand dollars to buy down the tax rate to the what five sixty eight? Yes. Yeah, twenty five cent reduction. Okay. So how do we make that up? How so do we make that up? I'm, I'm adding that back in being by being under budget. Right. <clears throat> You're gonna have five, six hundred thousand dollars go back into the pot that that came out. Right. Well, I'm doing the same thing, but I'm doing it from the other end. So you have more reserves than you ever had. Mm -hmm. Can I just say that? And, like and growing. And growing. Mm -hmm. Can I just say something? Mm -hmm. The general fund number that we presented here tonight is, you know, the cuts that you asked to do. They went. They cut. That's a, that's the best that we can do and we'd appreciate your support for it. It's four dollars and six cents. Mm -hmm. It's seventy six cents more than last year. And I tried to get the changes in quickly so that you guys could vote and support <laughs> the general fund budget. Um, as far as the overall bottom, I mean yeah, it depends on what the board selectmen decide to vote next fall to reduce the tax rate and things, but um, it's gonna be a whole I other select board. I still yes. have a question. Last week, if I remember correctly, we someone read the policy or the RSA that said how the budget committee was supposed to vote, and it, if, I, if I remember correctly, we're supposed to vote without regard to the total impact of other warrant articles. On Is that correct? On, budget, on right? the general, on, on this general article. Budget, right. Right. Okay, that's yeah. that's how I remember it, right. and that's I, now I remember how I voted. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that's why you placed the vote last week. Because of policy. 
and we would greatly ask well, the Jim, advisory committee to reconsider yes. that vote and support well, the general. Can you? I think. Can, can I say so? I think that's the intent. We voted yeah. last week okay. because of the God, the, the guidelines, and we had to have a vote in. But by no means was, in my mind, that wasn't our final vote. We took a vote, and knowing what we knew at that point in the information, we voted no, and then we wanted to see everything develop and and then we would take another vote we would reconsider that vote and and possibly uh, support the budget and hopefully we will support the budget. so let's go back to the back page and let's just walk through the new numbers you have because they might be because we did reduce down some of the things tonight we reduced how much did we um, take nine, off? like nine cents how much nine cents just nine cents. So we reduced the fifty thousand and oh. the. Um, Which ones? I got article. Sorry, I was talking about. Article thirty-six. Thirty-six, thirty-seven. Is like two cents. All right, I'm I'm not counting the same thing. Okay. I'm saying it looks like you the the um, operating budget rate went down twelve cents. Oh, yes. operating budget rate. Yes. And Article 8. Last week versus this week, it's 12 cents different. Right. Okay. And with other changes in the other Warren articles, you are now projecting the tax rate to be 6.884. Is that correct? No, no. because I plugged in that use of fund balance, 410000 and I was just, I printed Playing it. Playing around. I forgot to delete it before I printed it. Because I wanted to see, because it's extra up above, you see how it's over DRA recommended minimum, 4 and 10,615. So I thought, well, we could vote to use that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's over the minimum. And if we did, Which what would it look use? like? Which so I plugged it in, and I didn't mean to. And with the new budget you know, of 10,417, right. we've mm -hmm. reduced our costs from $7.35 per person to $6.94 per person. Per person, mm -hmm. we reduced our daily costs of a dollar ninety-two in providing those services to a dollar eighty-nine. Okay, public well, safety is expensive. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, let's just get back. We're not to doing the a effort. catwalk service. We're let's get back to this so we understand what you did. Okay, so we're not arguing here. Well, well. Um, so, so Lori, that four hundred and ten. Um, yeah, if it wasn't there. If we weren't using it, it comes out to be seven dollars and forty-five cents as a tax rate, as opposed to six eighty. Yeah. Okay. So it makes a difference of about fifty-seven cents if we if we use that four hundred and ten extra that we now have. So we started with two se uh, two point seven earlier this year, and you use seven hundred and ninety-eight thousand to buy down the tax rate. I believe that's two, the two point five. Two point five. Okay, and then we. We uh, use seven hundred and some odd thousand to buy down the tax rate, and you're suggesting another seven hundred thousand. What happens next year when we're in the same boat? Yeah, That's but, we, but we're we're pro most likely going to put back approximately a half a million dollars for that surplus or the over budget the that we've for got this year because this we're under year. budget. So we so will have. Oh, yeah, but right. it will be next and then you go into complete right. rebound. Right. Right. Now being the second tax bill, that it'll be reflected. Yeah. yeah. So you're saying to use the 400, you're recommending to use the 410,000, which would be a total of 786,000 out of the fund balance completely, right? Because you have 376 yeah. above 909 and then the 410. Correct. Yeah, if you did use and it. then if we do use that, it brings it down to 6.884. And I was basically asking um, 6.68. So you're. So you were asking 6.68. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so that's I know. Right. But I was okay. also adding way. the other but money that you don't understand how I'm doing but it. But to get to the 6.68, we'd have to take the 410 and right. use that. Right. Yeah. You could that's, use right. that. That's what we just That's, said. Yeah. Yeah. And then you need 20 cents more. Right. You, you just came up with, I think, 9 cents right. here. So that so we're 11? Actually, the 11 cents? Well, I didn't count the Off? Don, uh, John? 12, you're right, 12 cents. 
I missed article uh, 40. Another big difference is your overlay. Yeah. Um, and you said the overlay re historically has been 350 to 375 For lately? What yeah, what we've, what we've actually used. So we put 575, but we didn't use nearly that much. Because we, right. we've been in a period with no appeals. Right. That's going to come back. Yeah. 225 and 226. Yeah. Right, yeah. when it, yeah. um, when yeah. the appraisal yeah. happens. Yeah. 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 yeah, when the appraisal happens. So what do you all think about 6.884? Using um, the monies that we basically, uh, on the Warren articles using, that we didn't support, we're bringing that back in and offsetting some other areas. Discussion. Or well, would that still even reserve millions Oh, four. Oh, yeah, one point six. Oh, four. One point six. Wouldn't it be 1.2? 1.2. Oh, if you take out the yeah. 410. You take out the 410. 6.5, yeah. 1.2 million. Yeah. Which is still about 5%, and then that's not that's counting exactly. what may go in. That's above 5%. What we we'll put back in. Yeah. 1.2 is above 5%, right? Which would no. be the 6.5%. So the 1.2 is about 5%. That about. might be over budget or under budget next? this year. And so the way. Okay. Well, plus whatever, plus whatever we have left over this year goes back in right. there, we'll pull, pull right. it back up to the right. 1.6. It's the 6.5%. I just yeah. feel that we can't continue to lower the tax rate so much that we're using money just to fill in a, a valley. And, um, you then know, if you have too big of a reserve, you're holding too much of the taxpayer's money, at right. some point yeah. you give it back. Right. And I know, buying right. down the tax rate is giving it back. <laughs> right. But you're using 707000 You're using it like ARPA funds to to buy things one time items yeah not reoccurring what happens next year you well you knock things off i mean uh, chad chief so <clears throat> one of the reasons why these funds exist is because i i can speak to the fire department budget you'll see that there there are balances left some places there'll be deficits because we work really hard to not spend something if we don't have to. On top of that, we're a unique environment where, where we can make revenues. We're, we're predicted, just without Franconia, to, to make about, off my latest calculations, $150,000 more revenue than we had budgeted. So that, that's how you end up with these, these surpluses. Yeah. You know. So it's not just, um, you know, it's not necessarily like a, a one-time thing. That, that's how they can kind of sustain. Uh, when you add in the Franconia situation for us, you know, that looks to add another $250,000 to the bottom line based off of what we spent from the budget that we proposed and have agreed to. And I'm really nervous that we've, signed, as far as I know, the most expensive EMS contract in the state. And we're deferring uh, the purchase of an ambulance, which we agreed to when we got into the EMS business, we purchased one every five years. It, <clears throat> right now, about 12% of our calls are concurrent, meaning we have more than one call at once. If we're not able to, to staff that because we don't have an ambulance, we're still paying for the personnel that would be in that ambulance because they're scheduled to work, but you don't get the opportunity to collect any of that revenue. That that's all lost. In fact, other communities may start to complain that they have to go and come come in and cover our calls. So there's some areas like that that I'm I'm really hopeful that you know through this conversation this board can make some reconsiderations. Well, I think we're, we are trying to move everything forward again, as I say, um, because we have, this committee has been supportive over the years. Um, but we are looking at a 1200 potentially a $1,200 increase to the tax rate, or to the taxpayer on a, what is that, a $300,000? $300,000 house. 
300,000 or 200? Well, 200, the school, that's what they use. Well, I don't know what, but what but here the, they the use school three. millage rate is 1706. I can only handle the town on this side right now. I, I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry. I don't believe Let's that you want to do to the school what you're doing to us. I don't believe that. We right. do, Jim. We do. Well, Jim. Then why do they have more teachers than they have students? Mm -hmm. Why are there six, three sixth grade teachers and only enough for two classrooms? We don't have more teachers than they have students. Yes, you do. No, no. But the ratio, right, Jim, the ratio is students. off the step. We don't hold them to task. No, we, have, we don't have more teachers. Is that we, what you're saying? We don't have people standing around. I we think they do. I know. Yes, Jim, I, we are, the it, school does not meet with us nearly as much as they do. But I don't want to get derailed here. Yeah, that's a separate okay. point. It's, it's a smoke screen today. The point being is they have more that's sixth grade teachers yeah, than they have. That, that may be fair they need that. to teach the students. They only have enough for two Jim, classes. They have three. Jim, Jim, let's stay on is, the town okay. budget, please. Um, are there any other comments? And can I ask a question? Which yes. I apologize. I probably should know the answer, but I don't. What has the tax rate been for say the last four years? Uh, it's on this one paper. Where's that? Paper? The tax rate has been around, yeah. around twenty-three to twenty-four dollars. And it's been level like that for the past several years. Yeah. Half a dozen years. Really yeah. never. The, and under well, my three years, it was level the first two, and it was lower this year. Right. And, and thereby lies the problem, uh, as we've all discussed. I mean, costs have gone up. Yeah. And everyone knows that costs have gone up. And we've kept the lid on the pressure cooker, and you know, now it has to increase. But it's now increasing at an amount that's startlingly high to people because it was kept, it too was low. kept, well, all right, I mean, two, two is a value judgment, but it was kept, it was kept level over a period of increasing costs. And now we have a startlingly high increase. Um, not that it's not justified. Here, Barry. Okay. So you go right here. So... The tax rate in 2020 was 526. Okay. And at that time, the property values were like 20,000 or 20 million more, but that was because everything was, there were abatements that we had to give back and challenged. In 2021, it was 548. And again, the property value was a little bit more. Um, in 2022, we was it was 593, and then in 2023, didn't they reduce it down to? Five, didn't you go back to 548? 568. So we were 30 cents lower than the previous year. I mean, that's going to catch up with us, and that's exactly. what I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. Year. We can't keep doing that. We can't keep buying yeah. it down. And now we're using the fund balance, and I know you don't want to so have a whole bunch in there, but you don't, that's something that just doesn't um, refill itself. You know, it's but you're saying we can't have the increase because it's too much of a shock to people. But you know, if you said if it if it if it had gone up at a steady level, it would now be what probably what is being being um, proposed. And I don't mind using some of it, but we are using 707,000. We used 798,000 earlier. And we, so we have three entities now. Before we used to have this operating budget, and then it got cut, and we have an operating budget and all these Warren articles. And now this time we have an operating budget, the Warren articles, and Warren articles that are going to be um, funded by the fund balance. So there's zero impact. So we have like three entities now. So, I don't know. What, do you, what is the uh, board comfortable with? Do you have an expectation of where you want this to be?
You haven't really had a chance to talk about it, right? Well, they wait for your recommendation, then they meet. They then we go to a work session. <laughs> That's... But, but so usually I... it's not complicated because they've sit through yeah. right. all of this. I don't have to start it all over. Right. Well, thank goodness for that, right, Jim? <laughs> Six, so are people comfortable with the 6.884? Are you comfortable with the 6.884, Jim? I'm comfortable with $5.00. And thirty-seven cents. Now we're not going to talk about uh, okay. not having so, the. No, you're you're trying to vote on the overall, and you're supposed to vote on the general just, fund. Yeah, just the general fund. But the general fund and all the Warren articles together you, is what the tax your, rate is. Your role yeah. is to vote on the general fund. That's was. Without right. right. parents so, on the other, because let's so turn around and take the twenty cents off for nonprofits. Because you're including that in the increase. I'm not saying they're bad, okay, but you're Jim, including it in the increase. Are you comfortable with the 6.884, which the includes That's the, the general point. fund? So is the general fund the way it's listed? No, I would tell Parks and Rec that they need to get a pencil out. Yep. Speaking of Parks and Rec, <laughs> last week, was 571 this week is 581 is that a typo no 1214 it was 581 sorry 1130 I, uh, I have a document from 1130 so two <laughs> weeks ago sorry it's gone up you know 10,000 in two weeks what's happened in the last two weeks is I guess is I'm missing a sheet. I'm missing last week. That's not counting the legal bill. Yeah, right. Yes. The legal. So I'm the legal bill to sue us. It cost yeah. them extra. Yeah. Okay. So with the general fund at four dollars and or four point oh five oh five seven, is that what you're comfortable with, Jim? Yeah. Yeah. I believe with that we've gotten down to a dollar eighty nine in providing service to this community, mm. top notch, not Cadillac. Right. It is what the level of service is today. Art. I'll make a motion to reconsider Article Eight. Yes. To vote on Article Eight. All in favor? Second. And we'll have second. discussion. Discussion? I would like to um, say that uh, I would like to support the general fund operating budget. We got to vote first. We got to vote first. Oh, well, this sorry, is the discussion. We got to reconsider. We got a motion. Yeah, we consider. Motion to reconsider. Okay. Okay. So, all in favor of reconsidering Article Eight? Okay. So is that is that is that seven to seven, nothing yeah. to yeah. reconsider? Yeah. Our, which is what we planned to do last yeah, week. That was, yeah, we did not yeah. want to have Jeez. that vote. So. Oh. Eight. And with that, as it Seven. is. Zero. Okay. And Maybe with yeah. all the other. Morning. Now it's move discussion. Se move second discussion. Wait a minute. Yeah, move yeah. second. Now hang on. So I, I like to move eight. Second. Okay. Now we can discuss it. Yeah. Let's well, I was it. just clarifying um, yes. with that amount, it comes to the 6.884 with all the other Warren articles. Okay. All right. Point of order we're not supposed to consider those other Warren That's articles. Right. Right. Per yes. RSA, we're not supposed to right. consider those other articles. Correct. So I think that we should. Support it ties our hands, but that's what we found I out. I think last that week. we should support the general fund operating budget because it's only slightly more than the default budget. And if the voters vote down the general fund operating budget, Article 8, they will get the uh, default budget. Mm -hmm. And there's very little difference. And everything else is, as we have said, up to the voters to vote on. That's right. So, let's, okay. I'll, um, any other discussion? Yeah. The only other comment I guess I would make is that, with historical perspective, the voters of Littleton have always rewarded the town for doing whatever they can to mitigate increases. Mm -hmm. So if the three major budgets or all budgets could be looked at, anything that could be done in those budgets that would not affect personnel or service, anything that is in consultation with the department heads, 
they would say we can live without that for another year. I don't care whether it totals twenty-five thousand or two hundred fifty thousand dollars altogether. I think that that would be a worthwhile effort. I think that was done. We did, and, and that's what you did this last week, correct? It was done. Yes. Yeah, that would be yes. my closing comment. That that's was what done. done. So just and I always came up with some money. Thank you. So just the other comment, just the, what we faced last week, as compared to what, and I'm going to refer back to it, is the increase for the, the tax rate last week that we were looking at was um, 2.051, and now it's 1.2. So that's within reason. So move the motion. Okay. All in favor of supporting for, um, Article 8, the operating budget, um, raise your hand. Any opposed? Was that an was opposed, that John, or was that a late yes? John? I mean, it's four. It's four. Okay. It's okay. Seven. Seven four. <laughs> seven four. four. Okay, it's seven o'clock. Um, any other discussion? And the other thing is, we have a um, we have a uh, a contract, right, coming forward. Some point. At some point, maybe I'll let us know. Yeah. At your January 10th meeting, if you'll schedule one on that day, you can vote on any new petition more articles that come in up until the 9th. And we'll have a decision on a number for that other article as well. So January 10th is a Wednesday. Yeah. And when is your uh, budget hearing? Is that much later? Mm, it's right after that, so that's like the drop dead date, yeah. the time. Right. Okay. <laughs> we that's what I basically was yeah. asking you. Yeah. So, how many can meet on January 10th, a Wednesday? This is a Wednesday. Wednesdays are good. Yeah. John, at Wednesday, favor. January 10th, for another for another uh, budget meeting here, January 10th. Yeah. Wednesday, it's a Wednesday. I keep saying that so everyone. Last year we did it. Well, anyway, I think Dan let it. Five to seven here. Five to here. seven here. So on a Wednesday, because of the, the timing, it has to be a certain number of days before something else is set in as opposed to the first day? Yes. Yes, because yeah. it has to be by the 10th. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We, we need to okay. Get Any it. other discussion? Okay. So we're quick discussion on. So one question. Yeah. So we're, you're scheduling it for the 10th yes. of January. Okay. All right. Jim brought up some interesting points about, you know, holding, asking, asking as many questions to the other entities because there's three three elected boards in the town. One of Parks and Rec, Bill of Board of Selectmen, and School Board. I can't say that I have as much information on what went into that 581 now. Wait. Nope. Yeah. Yep. 581. Then on the park and rec, for example, that I have as an understanding on when I went into DPW and um, police fire. Oh, you know what it is? In the town and all that. John, I oh, you're remembering the 10,000. The 10,000 okay. was for we moved it out of that contracted amount of 42. Okay, and moved it. Yeah, that and, makes sense. And we figured out that the daily rate for them working one day a week for two people was ten thousand for the year. So we added it back to them so that so they could say they weren't paying for the town work on the farm. Right. That's what that. Right, that makes sense. Thank I you. totally agree with you, but I also feel like we really didn't know if we could bring them forward to this table and ask the same level of questions. We just felt that it kind of went through the town and 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 that's where it was. They don't think they're accountable to anyone. But I don't know. So, so we need help in understanding. That's a legal issue. They, they, yeah. This is a this is an anomaly in the state of New Hampshire. But Aside from all that, how does the budget committee approach them in the same way as a director? Because I agree, uh, last year was the first time they've ever shown up at a budget committee meeting. And it's because I asked them to. And I asked. You have to be more involved. You know, I asked yeah. them to do that. And I'm not going to try to throw them under the bus, but I, I also want to know how we can handle that better. 
Article 53 may take care of the problem. There's okay. an article on the ballot this year that's to right. move from elected to appointed. Right. Because, and that's the reason why. It's not because we're not trying to do our due diligence. It was just because... I, I, I'm not trying to... Uh, I, it was brought up a lot tonight and discussed a lot tonight on how we review the other, the other entities of the town. And uh, admittedly, I don't have as clear an understanding of how, what it went into that 581. I don't take offense and to it. So I'm trying to start the conversation to help us under, better understand that in the future. Roger just pointed out that, you know, maybe next year they're going to be appointed. It's going to be part of the overall town process, and that <laughs> takes care of that problem. But um, it was... I have to say, yeah. Andy's been the only one that has responded to me. And, um, and so. they do need to speak as a board. Yes, they do. Yeah. Yeah. But on the 581, you have a whole sheet, park and rec, that breaks down and shows you how you come up with 581,000. Shows all my It's in the packet. Oh, yeah. 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 I yeah. don't it mean it that way. Oh, okay. I Sorry. mean, <laughs> but I, on the stuff that you propose, so. I'm not sure what was in there. Right. right. At the level of detail, and it wasn't discussed to the level, either I can't understand what they're saying as well as what you present, or I can remember a lot of the numbers from, the, from those guys. So I'm saying it was either the presentation was different or. They did. Like, they, they weren't. You, you give us a spreadsheet yeah. of, of. You give us this spreadsheet. That says we spent so much on paper and we spent so much on. Yeah, and there's one yeah. pack and rack. And so. So, and they, they, December 14th. Yep. John, they the just were prepared. And I mean, Jim has been CC'd on many of the uh, emails going back and forth. Mm -hmm. You don't know how much I do in between meetings. <laughs> so, That's yeah. Paul? Uh, I, I just want to say one thing. You know, I've been here a lot of years, and I appreciate the passion of the town manager and this this advisory group, and the fact that this, these select board members have been really engaged in this process this year because it's, mm -hmm. it's that important. You know, and I think the municipal side, <laughs> at least the people here, um, really do take their comments to heart and really find this process as being super important. We don't blow it up. Well, I think what's frustrating for the department heads and our other paid professionals and even the board members is how can we get those other boards to the table to take this part as seriously mm -hmm. as we are tonight? Because there's a lot of emotion here tonight. There's a lot of different comments going back and forth. But at the end of the day, it's the better for the community that we serve, right, the citizens. Mm -hmm. um, this is about transparency. This is about about budget budget budget. Yeah. Yeah. And so I think the bigger problem as we transition into the new year is how that how that can change. Well, Paul, that's Chief Smith. Excuse you me. You call me Paul. <laughs> I'm sorry. Paul Paul. <laughs> we call it something else. <laughs> <laughs> so I brought up the fact that several years ago, the voters on the school side basically voted to have the Board of Selectmen, the School Board, and the Budget Committee meet quarterly. Mm -hmm. I probably <laughs> was remiss in knowing who should orchestrate that get-together. And it's basically on the school ballot. Okay, so now I'm thinking it should be the school because that's what directed, but then I have been, I have said I am the old, I am the new Doc Hill. Okay, and everyone can appreciate that because we have a new superintendent, we have new board members, we have new town manager, we have new, we have new everybody, and I'm the only one that says, "Hey, remember that um, board article." So I really am requesting that those quarterly meetings begin, and um, that the superintendent and um, Honor. Roger, everybody, get together and plan that schedule because there's so much that really needs to be done. And part of it, too, is including our elected representatives, especially on the school side, because when the adequacy aid formulas 
are created, they need to know how that affects their, their um, schools. I actually called up two of the representatives to go to the Tuesday meeting. It was a, it was a thought that hit me at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so I don't blame them that they didn't have an opportunity to come that night. But from now on, I know that they should be at these meetings, particularly on the school side because of the adequacy aid and all of everything else. And even the building aid. I mean, come on, how can we afford a $36 million school without any building aid? And um, so, yes, we need to get more people, but I think those quarterly meetings um, people get familiar with each other. They understand what the challenges are on both sides um, because they have no clue what's happening on this side at all. And I'm not sure it goes the other way. But it's one pocket and it's one taxpayer. It's one community. And so I'm really hoping that it starts sometime in March or April when, when all the new school board members are elected, the new um, budget committee um, members are appointed, um, all of that. We need to start just to yeah, get well, that together. I, I, just, I don't hold you specifically responsible. I'm just saying moving forward, we all mm -hmm. collectively need to rethink this. That's all. And, and you, you made some great comments. Thank you mm -hmm. very much. I appreciate it. So, okay. Move to adjourn. So In this current climate, does anyone want to hear about the community center? I guess not. Oh, I oh. think. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Well, no. you don't have it written up yet, though. So. No, but okay. I thought, okay. I thought uh, perhaps uh, I, I don't. I mean, I, I, I don't even feel like uh, like presenting it, frankly, with the uh, current, current uh, feeling, but... Um, I did bring some uh, information with me, which I'm happy to present. Okay. So, so um, to see. begin with, they received a um, uh, $100,000. $100, yes. um, Elgis. Yeah. It was Elgis, that Elgis. Yes. So, um, yeah. look, I'll start with the I'll start with the bid here for um, phase one of uh, rehabilitating the, the uh, back building at the uh, at the community center. Known by many names, the carriage barn, the annex, the whatever. Uh, anyway, here's uh, here's the bid in October from Great and Associates, a uh, company that uh, uh, is very experienced at lifting buildings. They rehab uh, uh, covered bridges, and they did the uh, uh, church down in uh, Sugar Hill. They lift it up and put a new foundation under it. Anyway, so for three hundred thousand uh, dollars, and I know that's really hard to read, uh, but uh, basically it's take uh, jack up the building, uh, replace uh, replace the joists and the uh, flooring, um, pour a new foundation, and uh, put it back down again with uh, with a new floor. It's just it's just the beginning. Uh, it's not it's not a complete. Uh, building rehab, but that is the first phase is uh, $300,000. So let me go to my here and the sources of funds. Okay. So for phase one, which is basically the foundation, uh, will cost $300,000. We have gotten a $100,000 grant from the LCHIP program. Yay, that sounds wonderful. Um, <laughs> obviously, we're $200,000 short on just uh, this. Um, we can take um, 10000 out of our general fund uh, to uh, go towards this, but we have other expenses that are coming due, like finishing the, uh, finishing the painting. Um, we've been saving money up. We can take 50000 out of our capital reserve. Um, we've already received $15,000 of uh, gifts and grants targeted towards this. We've got another 10000 of committed funds which should be received by the end of this month. Um, we were hoping to ask for a $50,000 warrant article to go towards this and do another 65000 in fundraising. That's why I highlight those in yellow. Um, I, I haven't written a warrant article yet because I have no idea what uh, <laughs> what 
people would support. I guess based on tonight, I guess people would support a warrant article of zero. So. Um, <laughs> you won't know until you ask. Mm -hmm. That's that's true. No, and I think there's a unbelievable standing on this building in this community right. and has shown long term support. I, yeah. I actually think, think that's probably one of the more articles that probably mm -hmm. be the most likely to pass. Yeah. Well thank you since it is a, a fund a fund match, but I mean obviously we'll be getting money from lots of other places too. Uh, I mean I, I think I'm really not looking for a vote from the budget committee per se because obviously we have to bring you a warrant article and have every everybody sign it. I think that I'm looking for a a sentiment uh, does fifty thousand seem reasonable in the in the light of the whole picture there mm -hmm. financing wise? Should we ask for ten? Should we ask for thirty? I, don't know. I don't know. Hmm? Question. Write it up. You know? yeah. Now this this is for the first phase, but yes. and and I know you have to get quotes and estimates, yeah. et cetera, but what a wild guess uh, what is the overall cost for the whole, for, for the whole thing if you are we talking no. several million or I, I mean just you I know, am not I mean, a construction person right. and I have no freaking clue this is not my area of expertise I would say that five or six years ago you know we were thinking we could probably do the the, the building for like maybe like you know, a little over a million, with the way costs have gone up in recent years. I, I imagine we're, I don't know, just pick a figure out of the air. I'm sure we're talking, you know, probably two million. I don't know. And and just and would you apply the same approach to funding oh, that yeah. work with yeah, coming back be, with be you know the town and, 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 you know, and, and, and and a warrant could, article yeah, for the town and hopefully you know we could get yeah. get the taxpayers to chip in. Yeah, but Mary, wherever you're doing here, yeah. this is part of it. This is integrated into the long range plan. Right. So whatever we're going to do here is not going to be. It's not the end. No, no, but it's <laughs> oh. not misspent. It's not taking mm -hmm. us in the wrong direction. No. It, it, this is a solid first step to be followed by step two, three, four, or whatever. Right. So, I mean, somebody's thought it through from beginning to end. Right. So, we're, it's integrated and it's uh, progressive. Right. And that would stabilize the building. Yeah, definitely. Unfortunately, you know, the it's first just, it's step just, of the process. Yeah, right. it's just so I think, uh, running away. <laughs> Quick question, yes. what's the plans for the building then? Well, um, we hope to, uh, at this point, we hope to have a, um, a return that large meeting space. You, you probably were in there a living. long time ago. Hmm? I was in there a long time ago, yeah, probably about 12 but, years ago. But, long, but you've been around long enough to remember yeah. that there was mm -hmm. a, big, a big room on the side. Mm -hmm. um, uh, get that uh, back for uh, you know, large meeting use. Uh, there yeah, were Boy wedding, Scouts and Girl Scouts. You know, whatever, you know, yeah. Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts. used to have their books. Yeah, they did, yeah. you know, wedding receptions. Yeah. And, I mean, and, they and had the furnace won't be so loud that the in minute meeting has to stop and the furnace comes on. <laughs> right. <laughs> recommend it. Yeah. Recommends um, when it shuts off. And, uh, Any plans for public restrooms? Uh, yes, yeah. yes. We'll be, uh, we'll be putting in uh, restrooms and, uh, you know, uh, probably office space and, and whatnot. Um, we've had some preliminary discussions uh, with with Linda and the Chamber of Commerce about public restrooms, and while we're certainly happy to have public restrooms there, uh, the the cost of staffing and maintaining. cleaning and maintaining public restrooms is not something that should fall solely on the community center. center. Right, right. And that would be something where we have to figure out some kind of uh, partner partnership for that. But we certainly Chamber. are. Uh, you know, it's, it's where I'm working. Yeah, That's I mean, right, right now, um, <laughs> you know, we're running this place uh, on, on volunteers uh, in order to try to, as I said last time, reduce our reduce our expenses and increase mm -hmm. our income. Uh, okay. So on the tenth, I think that if we have, a we would more, like to see yes. a warrant article. Okay, yeah. we will get out there. And I'm going to need the advice. I went online to to read the recommended warrant article <coughs> reading, which they've taken off the state website because they're in the middle of changing it. But apparently there's some we'll kind of some kind of port <coughs> that probably you guys have access to that 
Are you submitting a petition more article? Is that yeah. what you're? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think Vicky can help you. Yeah. With that. Okay. But there's some kind of there's some kind of recommended wording. It's just a basic yeah like basic template. format. Yeah. yeah. Format and uh, yeah. they took it off the state website mm -hmm. because okay. they're changing it. But it's affordable. So only some people have access to. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you have copies of all these one articles. Yeah. So the thing that follow, um yeah. And all that. I don't want to you know waste everybody's time tonight. The last time we had a Warren article for the community <clears throat> center for some. Um, capital improvements it was to be put into the capital reserve fund and I don't um, uh, the um, trustees of the trust funds have some a place yeah where they can keep have, it. like a specific line item right. just for it so we right can't get but I didn't anything else. Right. I didn't know if that's the way we should put it this way again or if there's some better wording because most of these other petition warrant articles don't have that so mm -hmm. I think I need a little advice on that before we before we go collecting signatures on something that's no good. <laughs> I, I appreciate the fundraising aspect to this yeah. project, yeah. and I think that we all recognize that that isn't an easy thing to do, but we do appreciate that there is an attempt for fundraising on these projects. Any other discussion? Adjourn. Uh, motion. So move. Thank you. Again. Hey, thank you, everyone. <laughs> Appreciate thank it. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.